أعوذ بالله السميع العليم الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد رسول الله على آله وأصحابه وأزواجه ومن وله We've been reading through some of the stories of the Anbiya real brief but you know something uh, Shu'ayb إلى مدينة أخاهم شعيبا والله عز وجل دين gives us examples how every prophet was sent commission to his people and how his people treated him they called him they, they told him he says they told him you're safi safi means not only mindless um, low level thinker low level uh, person to their prophet he tells him, there is no safaha. I, no, no, I'm not like that. It's just that your heart is blind. And when the heart is blind, you don't see truths. Uh, the Anbiya throughout the whole thing was, to, as, as always we mentioned, if we can summarize it in one thing, the Anbiya always appealed to the best in the human being. To what? To bring the best in the human being out. And the Ashqiya, they appeal to the most evil in the human being to bring it out. Well, the human being is capable, either way. And that's why they always say in the old days, although it's actually a prophetic hadith, but the old elders always said it. They said, go with the good, you'll be good. Go with the bad, you'll be bad. Right? Parents tell that to their, to, to their children, right? Is your friend a good student or not? You know, stay with the A students, okay? Why? Well, it's hadith, hadith sahih. Mathal al Jalis al Salih, the example of the good company is like the one who sells fragrance. Example of the bad company is the one that's a blacksmith. One will, you will take good smell from, and the other one will burn you. You choose. But what's amazing in the Quran here in the ayah that was recited, where Allah says, Wa ila madian akhahum, and all akhahum, Salihan wa akhahum, Hudan wa akhahum, Shu'aiban. Akhahum, their brother. We sent them Akhahum, their brother. The Quran is calling the Akhahum. Despite all the things that happened to the Anbiya, alayhim salatu wasalam, you see, they did not give up. They viewed it as bala or ibtila. Ibtila means to test. Are you going to drop the ball in the middle or are you going to continue? Do you see? Are you going to focus on the end? Because the end is Allah Azza wa Jal. In the sense what? وَأَنَّ إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ الْمُنْتَهَىٰ You're returning to Allah. That's your end. Are you going to focus on Allah Azza wa Jal? Or are you going to focus on temporary uh, uh, to your nose sight and then you drop the ball in the middle and move on? That's why Allah talked also at the end about Bani Israel. Uh, number one day, we've, you were subjected to Bani Israel, you were subjected to Pharaoh, and he was uh, humiliating you, killing you, doing all these things. This is a great test for you. And today we are all tested. We are tested in many things. No matter what your situation is, it's a test from Allah. No matter what it is. And on all levels, it's also a test. And the test doesn't have to be difficult. Allah gave us the answers. Now, test may be difficult if you don't know the answer. Yeah, you know, what's the answer? I have to study the answer. Here, it's an open book test. <laughs> the answers are there. You are actually taught the answers. All it is is a little willpower. And Allah, يَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ He forgives a lot. I'm reminded with this. Not, you know, today, we are coming now week in Ramadan. Already. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow is Monday. Uh, those who fast at Monday, those who fast is Tuesday, whatever it is, almost you're almost a week. Yeah. It's all four weeks. It's gone like this. It's important to not lose sight of the end objective, not to lose sight, not to drop the ball in the middle, not to treat fast like any other day. We may not be able to get another Ramadan. Allah give you all long life and health and iman. Lakin we don't know what happens. Ramadan is coming. It's time not to drop the ball. Take opportunity. 
Many things can wait. They can wait. Ramadan is not waiting. Ramadan is going. And yesterday we said two things, right? To move to the level of Ihsan. Al-Qiyam wal infaq Qiyam al-Layl and giving Kisabilillah. These two things are very important. These things are... So we don't drop the ball. Let me remind you uh, with a hadith. Al-Hadith, Al-Hakim narrated that he declared it Sahih. Uh, also, Ibn Kathir declared it Hassan and Burayda bin Sufyan. And the hadith on Muhammad bin Kabil Qurazi and Ibn Mas'ud. And the hadith Hassan in the Tabaat of Shawahid. Lakin, the hadith about from Ibn Mas'ud. He says when the Prophet وسلم, went to Tabuk, you know the battle of Tabuk, that was year 9 of Hijrah. يعني, a year before the Prophet وسلم's departure or so. Tabuk is far. Those of you who know the map uh, of the Arabian Peninsula, uh, between Al Madinah Al Munawwara and Tabuk, there is probably 500 miles, something around that. Far. In the north of Saudi Arabia today. Right? Uh, yani Tabuk would be, if you land, most people land in Jeddah, and Jeddah is parallel to the Red Sea. And then they go up to Mecca. And then Mecca, if you take a straight line, another 500 miles or 400 miles or so, you end up in Tabuk also close to the Red Sea. Imagine they're going from Medina to Tabuk at that time, 500 miles or so, the Prophet ﷺ with the Sahaba expedition. Taban, you rest, then you go. Abu Dharr al-Ghafari was with the Prophet ﷺ. Ibn Mas'ud is the narrator, huh? He says, he's narrating the story. He says, Abu Dharr was with us. Oh, you know how Abu Dharr is. Abu Dharr radiallahu anhu was always Abu Dharr. It's his own world. Yeah, in that sense. He's riding his own mule. His mule now started giving up on him. Move. He's moving very slowly. The mule of Abu Dhar is moving slowly. When you're going on a 500 mile trip, you know what you put on the mule. Your waters, your food, your everything. You, and you know how they put that. On, on this side, there's, uh, there's the pocket. You fill the pocket. On the other side, there's also a pocket. You fill the pockets. And the mule. Abu Dhar is delayed. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sahaba are moving towards Tabuk. They haven't reached there yet. Abu Dhar's mule is uh, delayed. And he is delaying him a lot. Some of the Sahaba, they told him, Ya Rasulullah, uh, where's Abu Dhar? Huh? Oh, you know, sometimes, yani, some people, they... Not, not that to the Sahaba, but sometimes nobody, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Tabata'a Abu Dhar. Abu Dhar is not here. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam allegedly tells him, look, in kana bihi khayr, fasayulhiquhu Allahu bikum. Wa in kana ghayra dhalik, faqad arahahu minkum, arahakum min. If there is good in Abu Bakr, in, in Abu Wa'fun, in Abu Dhar, if there is good in Abu Dhar, Allah will bring him to you. He will catch up with you. And if there is no good in Abu Dhar, then Allah gave you rest from his evil. Oh, that's how it is with the company. Some people are sad when they, yani some friends leave them or whatever it is. Oh, no. If there is good in them, <laughs> Allah will bring them. If there is no good in them, Allah gave you rest from them, from their evil. Better now than later. Oh, that's how it is. Uh, they said, no, what, what? He says, no, he tells them the same. He says, if he, there's good in him, in Abu Dhar, سَيُرْحِقُهُ اللَّهُ بِكُمْ Allah will make him catch up with you. And they no longer, they cannot see him anymore. And you're going in the desert. Abu Dhar also felt the way. What's, uh, I'm, I'm delayed, what's going on? I need to catch the Prophet ﷺ. He looked at his mule, he said, this is a long story. He took the thing from his mule, he put it on his back, and he started running. An old man. He left the mule behind, the mule, or this, if I'm gonna wait for the mule to move, is a long story. He put the thing on his back, and he started moving faster, moving faster than the mule, going until he caught up Almost, yani, huh, showing. One of the Sahaba who's on the outskirts of the army, looking what's happening, who's coming, he said, Ya Rasulullah, I see a man coming. The hadith says, Ibn Mas'ud says, and the Prophet said, Kun Abu Dhar, be Abu Dhar. He said, all of a sudden the man comes, little by little. A Sahaba says, Wallahi, Ya Rasulullah, innahu Abu Dhar. 
He is Abu Dhar. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam allegedly says, Rahim Allahu Abu Dhar. May Allah have mercy on Abu Dhar. Yamshi wahida, wa yamutu wahida, wa yub'athu wahida. He walks alone, he will die alone, and he will be resurrected alone. Hey, Abu Dhar. The point here is that Abu Dhar never gave up. He never lost sight. Ah, oh, my mule, I have things, I'm an old man, how I can carry? No, 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 you have to get there. The hadith continues, because allegedly the hadith says what? And he will die alone. Hadith continues, Abu Mas'ud says, uh, later on, after many years, Abu Dhar was uh, sent out and he was in the desert with his wife and his servant. Death befalls him. In the middle of the desert, there's nobody there. There are no highways. He tells his wife and his servant, he says, if I die today or tomorrow, just put me on, you know, put me out there. Leave me out in the desert. And there will be people who will, be, who will pass by. And those who will pass by, just tell them he is Abu Dhar. Die in the desert, people pass by. That sounds like Yusuf السلام, in the well uh, of water and the uh, caravan had to come by, by by the decree of Allah to find him in the well of water to carry him. Otherwise, he would have died there in the well of water. How can Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu died according to the hadith of Mas'ud narrated? Still, hadith is long. He says he died, his wife and his servant put him out. All of a sudden, they see a caravan coming from north towards Al Madinah down south. Yani. They see in this caravan Abdullah bin Mas'ud himself, the narrator of the hadith initially. And they tell him, this is Abu Dhar. And the hadith says, Abu Abdul Mas'ud says, I started crying. Remembering what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, that he will walk alone, he will die alone, and he will be resurrected alone. In all this, yani whether it is he was walking or he died or all this. Sayyidina Abu Dhar radiallahu ta'ala anhu did not lose sight of the end objective. And today we have something. We Allah gave us life to be in Ramadan. Gave us the opportunity to be in Ramadan. Do not treat this like any other day. And do not treat it like a no opportunity. It is a great opportunity. A great opportunity. And sometimes we all have slow days. Right? Today I had a slow day. Allah forgive me. You know, you know. You, you put the Quran on, but you're not listening. You're this, you know, something like that happens. Lakin, I have to remind myself that not every day is Ramadan. And not every month is Ramadan. And not every season is Ramadan. And we have to take opportunity of this. Otherwise, if we blink, we lose. You snooze, you lose. Like what happens? You snooze on Fajr, you lose. Yani you, have, you have to think you've lost a great deal if you lose on Fajr. Not just because of the fard. The fard obviously is the fard. But because of the sunnah. The two raka'ah of Fajr and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Sahih Muslim al-Hadith says these two raka'ah before Fajr, the two raka'ah of sunnah before Fajr are more worth than the whole dunya. Go collect all you want in the dunya. Collect everything. Platinum, gold, silver, everything. Collect them all and put them in front of you. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says these two raka'ah are more better than the whole dunya. And when you hear this hadith, hadith sahih, sahih imam muslim, you know if you lose out on these two rak'ah, let alone the fajr, fajr is even a'zam. Yani al-fard afwan. Al-fard is a'zam. Lakin if you lose on the sunnah of these two rak'ah of fajr, especially this emphasized sunnah, is as if you lost on the whole dunya. What worth? Go collect whatever you want, you're still in a losing balance. So we have a lot still, inshallah, if Allah gives us life and opportunity, we have three more weeks of Ramadan, inshallah, azza wa jal. Let's try to make it better, inshallah, and let's try to invest in this month.